Today on the Pipeline Vlog, we talk podcasts. About a year ago when I started PipelineComics.com, I had an article up about some of the podcasts I was listening to at the time. And as luck would have it, and as time moves on, those things have changed. I don't even know if all those podcasts are still around to tell you the truth, and some of the ones I enjoy the most are ones I've discovered or started listening to since I wrote that article back then. So I wanted to go over a couple of those today, and maybe sometime in the near future I'll write that up into an actual article at PipelineComics.com. The first three are actually similar in format. They are series that discuss comic books on an issue-by-issue -issue basis. The first one is only monthly. It's the uh, Justice League International Bwahaha podcast. And yes, I have notes in my lap, so I remember the exact titles of these podcasts, so you can look them up on iTunes later. I'll try to put show notes in the bottom of this YouTube thing. If you go down below here, you'll see them. But uh, the Justice League International one is going issue by issue, usually having a special guest each month uh, to discuss each issue of the classic Keith Giffen, J.M. DeMatteis series. And again, it's only monthly. They do one issue per month. It's not going to overwhelm you. It's a good look back and a good chance to go back and reread an issue once a month. That's the pace I can deal with. So that's a lot of fun. The second one is the Invincible podcast, which had the unfortunate timing of starting just a couple months before Robert Kirkman announced he and Ryan Otley were retiring from the series. But still, they do a great job of discussing each issue that comes out each month. It's always fun to listen to people who know all the characters and remember all the plots better than I do, because I, I can't keep track of all that stuff anymore. I just kind of go with it as it goes. Someday, maybe I'll go back and reread them all, but honestly, the odds are not terribly good on that. But you never know. It might happen. That's the Invincible podcast. The other one along the same lines is the Savage Fincast, which for Savage Dragon fans is the podcast to listen to. They also go every month and discuss the latest issue. Now, the Invincible podcast, I should mention, also has been going back and rereading all the old trade paperbacks with new readers, which has been kind of fun to listen to. People who don't know what's coming up in the next 100 issues or 50 issues as time has gone on, they have like 20 trade paperbacks to get through, so plenty of material there. And they even spun off, I believe, and done a couple episodes on some of the other Invincible-related uh, Invincible related titles, or maybe they're planning on doing it. I'm not sure, but that's there too. There's plenty to listen to, lots of good stuff, good analysis of the issues of the day. I don't always agree with their conclusions, but they come up with them, and it's fun to listen to. Uh, the fourth podcast, and probably the, my favorite one, again, another monthly title, and one that I, as soon as it comes out, as soon as the podcast feed updates and I see it there, whatever I'm listening to goes on hold and I jump straight to it, is the Felix Comic Art Podcast. Felix Liu, who's a comics art dealer, or I should say probably better, a comics artist representative kind of thing. He does a monthly interview show with somebody. It could last anywhere from an hour to two hours. They talk about all the issues around comic book art. Uh, of today, and it's impressive and amazing, and every time I listen to it, it makes me want to go up and write, go up and write all of my experiences with, with comic book original art, because I used to collect it more than I do today. Today, I sell a piece every now and then to pay for something, but back about 15 years ago, I would buy pages relatively cheaply that are today worth uh, relatively little, because I never got into those big expensive pages that now are just completely uh, unbuyable. But there you go. So the Felix uh, Comic Art pod Podcast, definitely the one I would most recommend above all else. And if that's not enough for you, uh, it better be. That's all I've got. I do miss the Surviving Creativity Podcast, though, but that seems to be off the rails now. So that's everything. That's plenty of podcasts to get you started in case you're not listening to them today. Give them a shot. And don't forget to please subscribe to this here vlog. And check me out on Twitter at Pipeline Comics. That's where my handle is there. I still don't have an ending for this vlog. I am one of these days going to come up with it, but it's getting really hot in this car, so I'm going to end things. Thank you for watching. I'm Augie DeBleek, and I'll see you again real soon. Thanks.